What the f am I playing? In the world of MMOs, some games are made for a broad audience, some are made for a niche audience, and others are made for niches of niches so small that I'm not sure the term niche even applies. That is Everjane, the Jane Austen MMO. It is a thing that technically exists. Very much an indie MMO, Everjane is currently still in development, but it is slated to release in 2017. 2017? Seems ambitious, but sure, why not? According to the website, it is a game where gossip is your weapon, and instead of dungeons and raids, you have dinner parties and grand balls. Oh damn, son! It's about to get real! Before I get started, I have to say that I respect the people who are making this game. They are very clearly making a game that they want, and that they want to play. They are passionate about it, and that is awesome. Good for you all, and be damned what anyone else says. That said, I'm about to say some stuff. Because playing Everjane is kind of like being stuck in MMO purgatory, which is exactly the same way I feel when reading a Jane Austen book. So, mission accomplished? Upon logging in, you'll be greeted with this. If this doesn't pump you up for some extreme, polite socializing, then you're likely dead inside. Then it's time for character creation. You have your choice between male and female, and Lord knows that in a Jane Austen MMO, I am not picking a man. And then you can choose from a few different hairstyles and clothing. Holy sh bonnets? F yeah. After picking a name and choosing how much I know about MMOs, I get to be part of the story. Hyvette had been traveling for two days with her Aunt Amelia in her aunt's private carriage. Upon arrival at the Fleckcott Glib Inn, an establishment of some repute which- Hey! What? I'm this game's target demographic and you're boring me! Get on with it! Good idea. 30 more seconds of that and I would have been in a coma. I'm then dropped off. Apparently the ladies magazine is my tutorial? I think it was supposed to help, but really it just confused me more. I have five different traits, one of which I can nurture by clicking on the plus button? I'm assuming they mean this plus button, but I'm not really sure. And why do I have a negative here? Am I supposed to reverse nurture a trait? That seems odd. So now what do I do? I'll let you know when I figure it out. At this point, I began walking around trying to figure out anything to do. I just started clicking on everything. My inventory was empty, my journal was empty, my task list was empty. Okay, no help there. My copy of Ladies Magazine said I should go talk to the headmistress. I did this, and she was supposed to give me a handkerchief, which I was supposed to give back, but I never got the handkerchief, so I couldn't give it back. What else can I do? I can nod. Okay. Curtsy. Okay. Deep curtsy. Yeah, that's the stuff. Man, this game is action-packed. Can I do anything else? No? Okay then. At this point, I proceeded to just walk around doing nothing! I changed my clothes. That's a thing. I tried to talk to some NPCs. They didn't talk back. I did ask one to marry me. He said no. Well, screw you, man. You've been lucky to marry me. I am f***ing delightful. I watched the synchronized horses. It's oddly beautiful and simultaneously terrifying and probably the most fun I've had in the game. That is until I drove them. Woo! Watch out, everyone. I've got a carriage and I know how to use it. Thinking I'd finally try to do something, I went to the grand ballroom. There was absolutely no one there. In fact, there was no one anywhere. I think I may be the last person left. It's almost eerie. Here's a quick snippet of what it's like playing Everjane. This could easily be a horror game. Just add this music and tell me you're not waiting for a jump scare. Surprisingly, there were a few people actually playing while I was on. And well, let's just say the role play is strong with this one. And you know what? Good for them. They found a place to call their own. I hope they never get off the game, because if any of them sees this, I'm probably gonna get some very well-worded hate comments. And that's it. I have no idea how I've rambled about this game for this long. There is honestly just not much here. I'm baffled there's an audience for this, but it did get over $100,000 on Kickstarter, and is apparently experiencing a housing shortage? 
How? If I were to be critical, and let's face it, there's a lot to criticize, I would say that this one doesn't appear to be very well thought out and definitely needs some more time in the oven. But this is the very definition of an extremely niche indie MMO. It is really, really weird. But seriously, please, I want to see this game flooded with people looking for group and whining about class and balance. Just don't mess with the RPers. They'll f you up. Oh, sorry. Politely f you up. Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.